tutorial. Today we're going to be preparing an image for laser engraving again, but we're going to be using a different function. Our other video was we use the effects function. Today we're going to use the image trace functions. This is a good uh, function to use if you have a straight black and white image that will help clean up the images a little bit, or if you have an image that's got solid colors that don't run together. So we're going to start off here with number one on the sheet with, that you have with you. Obviously you had to, for number one, you had to open the Illustrator through the Start Menu button. We've already have that opened up. So number two, we need to open a new document. So I go up to File, New. And in the New Document window, locate Name. And we're going to type in Engrave Image Trace 1. Locate your units. Make sure that it's set to inches. And for your width and height, just type in 5 and 5. So we have a nice 5 by 5 canvas. And then click OK. Okay, so now, just like before, we're going to insert our image. So, we can insert our image by going up to File, and then Place. Now, class with your folders for this one, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, you'll go to the black and whites folder that you have in your H drive. Now, obviously, I'm on my home computer, but you'll go to your H drive wherever that is, so you'll look, it'll be under the PC part. This is going to look a little bit different with uh, Windows 7, which you're using on my school computers. But once you go to the PC part, and you're able to find your devices, you should have one that says, like, your N drive, what have you, just like we saw in the previous video. But me, I'm going to go to my pictures file, where my folder is, and I'm going to choose black and whites. Now again, with your black and whites folder, because I merged a bunch of ones together, you will also have a, another subfolder that will say black and whites. So you want to make sure that you click on that subfolder to find the picture that we're going to use. So once you click on that set of black and whites, you should be in this same similar screen with me. So next we want to click on engrave, this engrave folder, and then we're going to go into portraits. And then we're going to choose this little picture here of Abraham Lincoln. I'll see the last one we did George Washington, and we're going to do Abraham Lincoln. We are the Prexies. Go Prexies. So once you select Abraham Lincoln, go to click place. Now with yours, you'll have the on your mouse you'll have the thumbnail of Abraham Lincoln's picture so you simply just click and drag yours and he'll fit mine like I said I have an older version before before I have an older version of Adobe Illustrator so it just automatically puts it right on the screen and the trouble I have with that now is that I have to shrink the picture make sure you have your selection tool selected that way you can select the image move it around make it bigger make it smaller so that's what I just did right there so now I have to use my zoom button here and click on fit the screen if you ever lose the uh, track of the canvas that is one way to make things so much easier than trying to scroll you just click on the little drop down box here and click on fit the screen thankfully the new version is fairly similar to this version that I'm showing you with right here all right, so now we have our picture of Lincoln, and we're ready to move on. So once we select our image of Lincoln, we want to locate the image trace button, which is right on top here. If you click on the little drop-down box right next to it, you have a bunch of different options we can go with. So we're going to choose, for this one, I'm going to choose silhouettes. 
and you do the same. So now, now that you noticed, the picture's a lot, a little bit, and a lot more clearer. It's not as pixelated, and it's a lot easier that we can use this with now. So you can play with that. All those different options you can choose. But the directions here, once you see, so you, it says to experiment with each selection from high fidelity photo all the way to technical drawing. And then finally choose black and white logo. So I'm going to go back. And I'm going to do this. If at any point you see this come up on your screen, just double click that arrow there and it will go away. Okay, so I'm going to click the drop down box again. And I'm going to click on the black and white logo. And there we go. So now what this does is cleans up the image from a pixelated look to a smooth, clear image. So now I'm simply going to save the document. So you click on File, Save As. And then make sure you save it somewhere to your H drive. Make sure it's not under Portraits or it's not under the Black and Whites folders. So just make sure you go back. Uh, in fact, I have a different um, operating system than you guys. A little bit different to explain this. So, easiest way, you click on your PC section on that side toolbar, and then you would find. So, pretend my hard drive button here is your H drive, and you show that. You would click on that. And then you would just click save. So I'm just going to save it to my pictures. But I'm just going to put it in my black and whites for now. Alright, so just like before, we want to save as save the type as. We want to save it as an Adobe PDF. So click this drop down box right here. And choose Adobe PDF. And then click save. And then there you have it, very simple. So, the next thing says to click save in drop down box, locate your network drive, double click, everything I just explained there. Click, click the save type as drop down box, and choose a WPDF, click save. Okay, we did that. Repeat this process with the same original image of Lincoln, but choose silhouette option. So, Make sure we click the save PDF. I don't look that. Alright, so I'm just going to do Control Z, goes back to the original image. So just choose Control Z, like undo. So I'll click that little drop down box again, and then I'll choose silhouette. And it looks a little bit thicker. If you notice between the other ones, it looks a little bit thicker. And you'll be able to see the examples on the bottom. So I have the original, the black and white logo one, and then the silhouette. So they look a little bit, there is a little bit of a difference to them, but not very much. So for this one, I'll definitely save this one as file, save as, and then engrave image trace 2. We'll save this one as 2. And then click save. So these two here, you will upload two of these to our Google Classroom page. And then complete your on your own section below. Repeat this process with two more images of your choosing. School appropriate, please. One image can be provided from one image can be from the provided folder and one image from the internet, whichever you choose. Choose the function you like best. Save type as Adobe PDF to your network drive. Then submit them on Google Classroom with the assignment above. So name each file on your own underscore image trace one dot PDF and on your own underscore image trace two dot PDF.